Hello and welcome to my unnamed town. My name is Maria and I'm creating a custom town in The Sims 2. In the first three episodes, we focused on creating new families, all their connections, drama between them and memories. In the fourth episode, we created some lots and we also edited some families a little bit. You don't really need to watch those episodes to get into this one, but I thought I would mention that you can watch those if you want to as well. Today, we're going to be creating a whole new family. And I actually already did some preparation to it and I created these guys the Wright family so let's load into them so we have Anthony and Catherine Wright and they have a ton of kids I already created a ton of children for them they have six kids already but we are not done by the end of this I want them to have 10 children of course we can't actually do that because they won't fit into the game but that is why we're gonna age some of these kids up and have them move out and have families of their own and by the time we're done Anthony and Catherine are actually gonna be elders and we're gonna continue sort of with these guys these families also connect with some of the families that already exist Miss Tammy here for example is going to be the wife of Dennis Brooks which is a kid that we created a couple of episodes ago. So let's first look at this family tree. So we've got Catherine and Anthony. Catherine is a family sim and Anthony is a romance sim which might actually create some tension and drama between them. Catherine's aspiration is to marry off six children which she will probably achieve. <laughs> Whereas Anthony's wish is to have 20 simultaneous lovers, which is up to the player to decide if they want to pursue. But here they have their children. We've got Matthew, Daniel, Tammy, Wendy, Christine, and Gregory at the moment. Now my idea is that this family is sort of very, very traditional and they want a specific thing for their children. And by traditional, I unfortunately also mean maybe a little bit homophobic, maybe a little bit racist. Isn't the best thing to be, obviously, but I thought we can add that as sort of like a little bit of tension in the family because as they are going to have 10 children, not all of them are going to be straight. Matthew, for example, who is actually their firstborn, is going to end up with a husband. And as I mentioned before, Tammy is going to be married to Dennis, who isn't white. So I feel like that could be a sort of a point of tension. Maybe they are gonna sort of fall out with their parents because of that, because their parents have this specific idea that they wanna be married to a very specific type of people and they don't follow that. So maybe that can be a point of tension in the family, but we will get to that first. Let's age these kids up and move them out. And who did I say? I said Matthew. Matthew is the one who's gonna end up with a husband. So I'm just gonna lower the relationship with his parents there because they wouldn't approve. So that relationship will sort of suffer. Stop crying. It's so annoying, oh my god. Okay, no, 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 just because you are gay and your parents do not approve doesn't mean you get to slap them. Poke, can you stop? No, I understand you hold some resentment, but that does not allow you to assault your parents. Just move out, okay? Just move out. Yeah, he's now furious <laughs> with his kid, oh my god. All right, Tammy is also going to have a negative relationship with her parents because they also don't approve of her choices. And she's also going to move out. Daniel is going to have a good relationship with his parents. He's going to marry someone that they approve of, so they don't have a problem with him. And same with Wendy. Good relationship with her parents because she did marry the way that they wanted her to. And she's also going to move out. All right, so we are now just left with the parents and two of the children, Gregory and Christine. These two are actually going to be teenagers at the start of the game, so I'm not going to be aging them up. I do, however, need them to have more kids. Two of these kids are going to be especially interesting. So these guys' whole entire thing is that they want to be quote-unquote perfect. They want to have this perfect image, and I'm sure you know people like this in real life. They want to have the perfect kids, the perfect marriage, everything has to be perfect, but they also have a ton of skeletons in the closet. The first being that this guy is a romance sim, so he wants to have multiple lovers, and it's not something that is acceptable to Catherine. But what is my most favorite part of this sort of perfect thing as well, the fact that they also have children that didn't marry the way that they, they wanted them to marry. But also, Anthony here is gonna have a secret of his own. He is going to fall pregnant with an alien. For that, I'm going to set his aspiration to knowledge for the time being, and I'm gonna get him the reward of summoning aliens because the cheat doesn't actually work. There is a cheat that you can use, but it doesn't work. So we're gonna to have to do it this way and hope it works like this. But what we're also going to do is we're gonna have the wife all pregnant because they need to have 10 children. The alien kid doesn't count. 
So go make them babies. So the alien thing only works at night, which is why I'm waiting. All right, let her have the kid, and then we're gonna do the alien. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, she had a baby boy. His name is James. All right, let's try to summon aliens. There we go. I specifically turned the cutscenes back on because I love this so much. I know it's probably lagging for you, but this is still an amazing cutscene. It's my favorite. Or well, probably the giving birth part is my favorite, I don't actually know. Oh my god. Look at his needs going all crazy. All right, I don't want anyone else to get abducted, so let's delete that and age him up one more time because he's supposed to be a teenager when the game starts. So there's going to be three teens in this household. He got his dad's nose. Oh, what's his aspiration? I don't really care. Let's say popularity. There we go. Ah. I love how it just spits him out. Ah! <laughs> I used to love this as a kid. It was so funny. And he's pregnant! Look at that! And just because I am a scandalous, scandalous person, we're gonna do this. In the meantime, let's get the wife pregnant again. The wife and the husband are pregnant at the same time! I love this. I love this so much. I don't know why, but I love it. Speed up my pregnancy, and for the wife as well, speed up my pregnancy. Both the husband- I just can't get over that. The husband and the wife are both pregnant at the same time. This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world is Aliens and The Sims 2. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just- oh, this is pure gold. I love it so much. Wait, can she feel his stomach? Baby rub belly. Oh my god, do that please. Before you give birth, do that before you give Oh my god! Oh my god! I love it! They are both giving birth at the same time! Oh, her cutscene triggers first. Well, we can skip that. He's also giving birth in the background! Oh, we don't get a cutscene! We missed the alien cutscene because this one triggered? I'm so sad. Well, I don't want to see this one. Oh, I'm so sad. I don't care about the blonde baby. Also, he's a boy, so I need to reload anyway. Oh my god, I needed a girl. He had a boy and a girl. Oh. I don't really care what he has. It's just that she needs to have three girls. Okay, the question is, can I move him out before he gives birth so that I can actually get to see the cutscene? Just move out. Just leave. Please leave. Right now. I want you to go. Yes, please leave. Baby girl. Perfect. Heather. He got to move out, yeah. I want that alien cutscene. Oh, he's already giving birth. I love this so much. <laughs> this is probably my favorite cutscene of the entire game. Look at that baby. Oh, those beautiful eyes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh. <laughs> and just plop that baby on the floor. It's a girl. Two girls. Perfect. This one is Thoma. And this one is Brika. Look at this huge family tree. <laughs> Who's their father? Well, I just realized a fault in my plan. So I haven't shown this yet, but I did create another guy who had an alien baby. And my plan was to this guy's alien kid to marry that guy's alien kid and have alien kids of their own. But I now realize that they are related by the alien. So this is Ingun. I was gonna have him marry this one, but they are literally siblings. So that kind of puts a wrench in my plans. And I don't think I can really do anything about it. I mean, I've done this before, and the way that I changed it is that I had the alien child taken away by the social worker and then readopted by someone else. So they, that way it doesn't register as a sibling of the other one. 
and that way they can get married and have kids of their own. But I also really wanted, like, this, these alien kids to be on the family tree of this guy. Or maybe, you know, maybe if it's just in the memories, like, he has a memory of being abducted and then he has the memories of actually having these two. And you can see the portrait here as well, so you can know that they are alien kids. Maybe that would be enough, and so you actually have to do a little bit of deeper digging to find out that he had alien kids and not just see it on the family tree. So maybe they can still get taken away. But then I have to create someone to adopt them again. I really want this one to get married to the other one. Yeah, let's get them taken away. I know that is kind of incestuous. <laughs> let's just pretend that there was a different pollination technician that day. Let's just pretend that these two are not related to the other alien in town because that they were created by a different pollination technician. We don't have to have it be incestuous. <laughs> what am I even talking about? Oh my god. But look at this one. Oh my goodness. Look at that baby! Look at her face! Oh my god, I love it. She has the most beautiful face as well. Her eyes are alien eyes. Her eyes are more hybrid. These guys are gonna get taken away by the social worker. And there we go. You have to take care of your kids even if they're aliens! I can't believe I let my child slip away from me. If I get the chance to be a parent again, I'll never let this happen. And the other one as well. I know, it's sad, but you genuinely shouldn't care. You're the type of guy who doesn't care, so cheer up. He's thinking about his other kid? See, that's how much of a douchebag you are. You shouldn't care. And also you shouldn't be friends with your alien kids. I think you really shouldn't be friends with your alien kids because you don't like them. We'll continue with the aliens in just a second. I want to move this guy back in with his wife and have them have two more daughters. It is a girl. Perfect. And this girl is Rebecca. Boy. Well, I'll have to reload. What's this boy's name? Don't care. Nope. It's still a boy! No boys allowed. Make that thing a girl. It is a girl. Oh my god, thank you. This girl's name is Anne. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten kids. Look at that. I even have to scroll. These ten kids also register these two as siblings. That's gonna change. This one was Matthew, right? He is gonna move in with Kyle. And this is gonna be his husband and they're gonna have a kid of their own. His dad is right there. The dad that is homophobic and doesn't approve of his gay relationship is literally right there as they're kissing and they're about to get married. Let's make him witness the proposal as well. There you go, dad, look. I'm getting married to a guy that you so disapprove of. He did what? He did what? I didn't even pay attention to that. Why did he say no? Because I didn't drag that up high enough. Can you, can you maybe, can you maybe not do that? Denied by my true love. I thought it was time. I thought the time was right, but I was just all wrong. He's now crying about that. Damn it, Matthew. Now you go propose. Is he mad at him? He's not mad. Okay, Matthew, your turn to propose then. How did I not notice that? I was so focused on the father that I literally didn't even notice that. Please say yes? Oh, he wasn't even in love with him. That's probably why. He only fell in love with him after the engagement. That's kind of sad, but go adopt a baby. All right, I'm going to save right before in case I do accidentally adopt one of their sisters, which I really don't want to do. <laughs> there we go, we want a toddler. Oh, look at that baby! But I also want the kid to be a kid, so let's do that. Go talk to your dads, I want you guys to be friends. Look at that, one kid down. So many more to go. Let's go into some other families, move them out. So, this is where Dennis comes into play, the Brooks kid. We actually gave birth to him a couple episodes ago in a completely different family that we were working on. So now it's time to actually get him married and have his own kids. So just a reminder, this is Dennis Brooks. His mum is Sandra, his dad is Damien. Damien has already passed away. He has two sisters, Tonya and Natasha. Natasha has two kids, Tristan and Nathan. Natasha unfortunately passed away, so did the kid's father, Dominic. And now, Dennis's sister, Tonya, is the one raising Natasha's kids alongside Sandra, who is their mother. So let's get that relationship all the way up. I don't want any more rejected proposals. That was embarrassing. He's still mad at Kaylee for dumping him as a teenager. That's kind of funny. All right, so she needs to have a boy. All right, this guy is Benjamin, and we're gonna stop what they're doing and go make another one. Perfect, now age up Benjamin. Benjamin is supposed to be a child. Look at him. And now, you know what? Something is gonna happen that has never happened before. We are not going to see this pregnancy through to the end. I want her to be pregnant at the start of the game. I do want her to be a bit farther along. She is in her first trimester now. She doesn't even know that she's pregnant yet. I want her to be in her last trimester as the game starts, but I am also going to be creating a house for these guys, so I will be playing through them a little bit. 
So I'm going to hold off on speeding up her pregnancy because otherwise she's just going to give birth while I'm building the house. So for him, it's actually pretty simple. He's got parents, he's got grandparents, three of which are alive. His family tree is a little bit more complex. For her, she's got three grandsons. And for these guys, they've got two, neither of which they're actually going to know because this one is adopted by a gay marriage. This one has given birth by an interracial marriage. They do not approve of this, so they're probably not going to meet their grandkids, which is kind of sad, but I wanted to create some drama, so that's why it is what it is. All right, Wendy is moving in with the Mitchell household. These guys aren't going to have any kids yet. They're just going to get married. So this is Marcus. He has parents. They are divorced, but they're also going to be characters in the game. I'm going to have them live somewhere else. And he also has a sister, Faith. Faith is a teenager and she currently lives with the mother as the parents are divorced. He also really doesn't like his dad because his dad um, left the family. But all right, let's get these guys married. And let's have them consummate the marriage because why not? And I'm going to also lock the have a baby aspiration. Because she is a family sim, she wants to have a baby. I'm not actually going to make babies for them. I'm going to let the player know that that is what she wants to do. And this is Daniel's wife. They are also going to have one child and she's going to end up pregnant at the start of the game, just like we had with his sibling, except this relationship the parents do approve of. So April's parents are also both alive. We've got Irene Sanders and Mitch Sanders, and they are also sort of a nice quote unquote respectable family. So Daniel's parents approve of this union. And just like that, they are married. All right, she's giving birth. I want her to have a girl, so I'm gonna save. And I love how we've got these visitors coming in as well. These are actually characters we've already played with. It's a boy. What are we going to call him? Nope. I am very picky about the sex of the kids because I have specific plans. I want the town to be balanced with girl-boy ratio. Boy again. Oh my God. Nobody. Nope. Boy. Why? <laughs> Nobody. Nope. Nope. The thing is, all of these kids are going to be sort of in school together. That's why I'm trying to give sort of a girl-boy ratios because these children are going to end up in school together. They're going to be meeting each other and stuff. And I want sort of a roughly even number of girls and boys so that they can sort of form friendships and relationships if they want to, whether that be gay, straight, whatever. There still should be a variety of sim. If it's just boys, it's going to be sad. Oh, finally, it's a girl. Oh my God. This girl is Laura. So Laura is the first grandchild that the rights approve of. And it's the first grandchild that they are going to acknowledge because these kids are sort of written off. I am, as I said, going to make her pregnant one more time just so at the start of the game she is pregnant because I like to have pregnant sims at the start of my games. But I'm not going to have her give birth. We are, however, also going to age that kid up. There you go. Maybe I can give her wavy hair. Now, finally, time has come to focus on those alien kids. No, I don't want any pre-made sim. I'm going to create a random sim to have them adopt. Tomorrow at 10. Yeah, so I'm going to have to wait tomorrow at 10 for one kid. And then again, tomorrow at 10 for the other kid. So, oh, yay. I got the kid. I got the kid. I got the kid. I got one of them. The one that I need, actually. But I'm going to get the other one as well. So this is what I wanted. She isn't classed as a child of the pollination technician, which means that it's not incestuous. Honestly, this is what I wanted to begin with. I originally wanted a different pollination technician to have these kids. It's just the way the game is coded. I genuinely do not mean any type of incest here at all. So we're going to pretend that she was created by a different pollination technician. She missed a grade by skipping school. She was literally adopted today. How did she miss school? She isn't doing well. Failing school is a visit from the social worker. Well, crap. She already got taken away from one family. I don't want her to get taken away from another family. All right, the school bus arrived so she can actually go to school. And there we go. We've got her sister. All right, now to age everyone up. So these kids are going to be adults. She's going to be an elder. Look at those eyes! Those eyes, girl! Perfect, now that she is an adult. I do want to change that hair. No, actually, yeah, I like this green. We're gonna stick with that. Have her be very alien. I love these. She looks great. I love this for her. I kind of like the look of this one. Yeah, look at that. I like that. I think I'm gonna leave it. All right, let's have them move out. All right, now the final thing we're gonna be doing in today's episode is making them alien babies. I want to... We can actually have them be twins as well, since um, this one is a twin. Maybe she'll have twins as well. There we go. We've got our couple aliens with different pollination technician fathers. Why is that a negative for you? You are literally a family sim and you want to get married to him. His name is Ingon, by the way. Ingon Brakryok. This is actually probably what the house is going to end up looking like. I'm probably going to edit it a little bit, but this is generally what the house is going to look like. And I like the vibe. 
Why is the second baby not an alien? Please explain. How does that even function if, if both of the parents are aliens? I mean, I guess they have non-alien grandparents, but why? I do not approve. I do not approve of that. His eyes are very alien, though. I do not approve. We're trying again. I want them both to be green. That's the whole point of having alien babies. Make them green, please. Ah, uh, again, why? Make them... Um, green please i'm gonna try it maybe like two more times and if it keeps happening i might just leave it but i really want them both to be green that's like the whole point of alien babies no why okay this is my last attempt if they're gonna be white and green they're gonna be white and green i just don't care anymore they are white and green at least this one looks very alien i was gonna settle but i'm not gonna settle i'm gonna try this so many times until i get two green kids i want two green kids how are they both white that does tell me, though, that there is a potential for them both to be green. I don't care about these kids. I don't care about these kids. I know it's possible. We just had two white kids. It is possible. Nope. I want green. Give me green. Oh, my God. They're both green! Oh, my God! I've tried so many times. I cut out, like, a million because I didn't even say anything in them. But, oh, my God! I knew this was possible! I knew I could do it. I believed in myself and I achieved the impossible. I am losing my mind. Somebody save me, please. Oh my god, I don't even remember what I called the other one, but one of them was definitely Fegra. Unless, whatever, Lamba is fine. Oh my god, this took so much effort. Look at that green baby one and green baby two. This one looks exactly like the dad. And this one looks exactly like the mum. I thought I was going to lose my mind. I probably already did. Oh my god. <laughs> now age these kids up because I want them to be toddlers. Alright, last thing I'm going to do in this family and in this episode is I'm just going to change these girls' hair. I just don't want them to have black hair. So I'm just going to make them bold. I'm so glad I didn't give up on that because oh, I really wanted them to be green. Oh my god! But there we go, we finally have these green babies. They come from green parents. This one also has a sister. The player is free to do with the sister what they will. But that is it. We did so much this episode. We had so many kids. We married off so many of them, aged up so many of them. We had drama. We had craziness all around. I am so exhausted. <laughs> I really need a break right now. Those green kids really, they just killed me. All right, next episode, I'm either going to do a build. I have so many families now that need homes. So there's definitely plenty more to come. And then once I actually do finish all the families and the houses, which is going to take me a while, I'm going to be designing the neighborhood. And then after that, I'm probably going to be playing with the neighborhood. So there's plenty, plenty more to come. As I say in every video, please leave a comment if you did watch. I love interacting with you guys. And also leave your name suggestions for the town. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.